Russia and Iran stress that allegations about the use of chemical weapons by Syrian authorities in Damascus countryside is a provocative act planned in advance. A large number of terrorists killed during army operations in Damascus, Aleppo and Homs. An Egyptian court rules that President Mubarak be put under house arrest. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yerado Krikorian with the news in English. The Russian foreign ministry has stressed that the allegations about the Syrian authorities' use of chemical weapons in Damascus countryside may be a provocative act that was planned in advance. The foreign ministry's spokesman, Alexander Lukashevich, said, Baia's original media outlets immediately started an aggressive media attack, holding the Syrian government fully responsible as if they had received an order to do so. He added that the timing of these allegations is not a coincidence, as they started with the beginning of the UN experts' mission on investigating probable chemical weapons use in Syria. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Jawad Zarif has declared that the Syrian government cannot be responsible for a possible attack with chemical weapons on Damascus suburbs. Zarif's statements came during a telephone call with his Turkish counterpart Ahmed Daoud Oglu. Zarif asked, how can the Syrian government resort to such measure while UN inspectors are in Damascus and the Syrian Arab army continues to inflict defeats on the terrorists? Zarif said, if the use of chemical weapons is proved, the terrorist groups will be certainly the side to use them as it has been confirmed that they do not hesitate to commit any crime and because it is in their interest to internationalize the crisis in Syria. Zarif added that the Syrian government has condemned the incident and his country was conducting contacts with it to study the various dimensions of this incident. Chairwoman of the UN Security Council, the Ambassador of Argentina, Maria Cristina Percival, who is chairing the UN Security Council this month, has said the members of the Council wanted to reveal the truth about the allegations on the use of chemical weapons in Damascus countryside, and they welcomed UN investigation in this regard. Following a consultations session of the UN Security Council, Percival said, the truth about what had happened must be revealed and the situation must be closely pursued. The General Command of the Army and Armed Forces had stressed in a statement yesterday that the allegations about the Syrian Arab Army's use of chemical weapons in Al Ghouta are absolutely baseless and are part of the dirty media warfare on Syria. The Minister of Information on his part has also stressed that the reports circulated by Al Jazeera, Al Arabiya, Sky News and other channels involved in shedding Syrian blood are but an attempt to distract the Investigation Committee on Chemical Weapons away from its tasks. A mortar shell launched by terrorists in Al Abbasiyin residential area, killing a woman and causing material damages. The Syrian Arab army carried out qualitative operations in Jobar and al qabun areas in Damascus, relying on accurate information about the main headquarters of the terrorists. Army units broke into these areas and started bombarding their sites, especially between al manashar and Dawar Janoubi.
Our armed forces and the border guard personnel killed and injured a number of terrorists who tried to infiltrate from Lebanon to Tal Kalah countryside across Al Madhume and Al Msharfa sites and destroyed their weapons. An armed terrorist group was eliminated near Al Walid complex and Awqaf building in Jurat al Shayyah and Al Hamidiyya neighborhood and near Al Burr hospital in Al Wa'ar neighborhood. Another armed unit clashed with an armed terrorist group tried to infiltrate from Al Wa'ar grooves to to Al-Qarabi's neighborhood, inflicting heavy losses upon it. Army units confronted terrorist attack against military checkpoints in Al-Masabir neighborhood area and a town village in Al-Hule, killing a number of terrorists and injuring others. Our army units killed and wounded a number of terrorists in Aleppo countryside, destroying their weapons and ammunition, which included heavy machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades in the village of Aquarius. An official source pointed out that other units targeted terrorists who were committing acts of theft and robbery on al muslimiya Aleppo Road. In cooperation with the locals, the competent authorities arrested a terrorist group of four members as they were trying to kidnap a boy in Al Hasaka city. An official source told Sana reporter that a terrorist group was ambushed in a Nashwa neighborhood in Al Hasaka city, pointing out that this group had already kidnapped citizens for money. In Egypt, the Egyptian military authorities have released former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak after being acquitted in the case of Al-Ahram presence, the last corruption case he was detained for. Mubarak was placed under house arrest due to the state of emergency in the country. On the other hand, the Tanta court has decided to detain 21 members of the Muslim Brotherhood for 15 days pending investigation on charges of instigating killing and acts of violence. The Egyptian authorities Authorities also arrested the Muslim Brotherhood's spokesman Ahmed Arif in Al Nasr city. Now the latest business of market news, but after a short break, stay tuned. Welcome back. The Minister of Economy has decided to increase the important goods and materials to cover the market needs. The new list includes the paper as a raw material and spare parts of the machinery, cars and electrical devices, in addition to the medical and surgical equipment. On the other hand, the Ministry affirmed that the import duration is only six months. The Director General of the Establishment of Storage and Marketing asserted that the establishment has imported a quantity of frozen chicken from Iran. He also said that the establishment is making the necessary tests now, asserting that the establishment will cover the local market with sufficient amounts of frozen chicken soon. The Director added that the price of one kilogram of frozen chicken is 400 Syrian pounds. Brent crude held above 109 U.S. dollars a barrel on hopes for better demand from the Chinese survey, though signs that Libya may resume exports, while U.S. crude oil futures were up 81 cents to reach 104 U.S. dollars a barrel. U.S. stocks fell as the Federal Reserve's July meeting showed that officials support stimulus cuts this year if the economy improves, while European stocks climb, rebounding from their lowest level in three weeks. Go 
out card losses as investors await the minutes of the U.S. Federal Reserve's last meeting, which reinforced expectations that stimulus will be tapered against an unexpected increase in China's manufacturing. Spot gold fell 0.8% to reach 1,355 U.S. dollars an ounce. dollar rose as a spike in U.S. debt yields drove up, borrowing costs globally, overwhelming the impact of buoyant economic reports from China and Europe. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website under syrianonline.sy. Till next Saturday, all the best.